What is going on guys? Thank you for joining me today. My name is Nubis and today I'm going to be making a beat using Koala Sampler. And uh, for this one, I'm going to be using some of my own sample packs, uh, which dropped a couple of weeks, months ago, with some fellow producers under the name The Crafty Kids. Let's get down to business. So here I have a folder with all of my samples and I have a special folder for the crafty kits. So I'm going to uh, navigate and try and find something that I want to use. So I'm going to be using this sample right here, which is included in the gauntlet free sample pack which was released a couple of weeks ago and uh, this particular uh, melody sample was made by matrix keys so right now you can see it's uh, 120 bpm and the key is g major All right, so right here, I'm going to adjust the BPM of the track. I'm going to adjust it to uh, something in the 70s. I believe um, like 77 is all right. Okay. So from here, I'm going to build my first sequence. I'm going to time stretch the sample. Make it two bars. So before uh, doing that, I'm actually going to um, do some processing on the sample. So I'm going to uh, resample within the app and um, I'm going to add uh, some effects. So I like to add a bit of dirtiness to the um, samples that I'm using. And um, I'm also going to beat crush the sample just a little bit. And uh, I'm also going to add some low pass filter. I like that, so I'm going to go ahead and resample that. So before I do this, I'm just going to drag this one away. And I'm going to resample on the first pad here. So here I'm just going to trim what I need and then I'm going to time stretch for real. This I don't need anymore. I'm going to go ahead and uh, chop this one. So I'm going to use the auto chop. I just want to capture the chords. I don't care about anything else. I'm going to add them to the choke group one. So here I have, like visually I can uh, select my, my chops.
So I have eight. Do I really need them eight? I don't think so. Alright, so uh, let's chop that up. This one, I'm also going to add it to the choke group one. Okay, so. I'm actually going to stretch these samples. I want them to um, maybe last for a bar or something. This one seems a bit too much, so I'm going to make it two beats. Make this one like two beats as well. Before going further, we're going to go ahead and save this project. I'm going to call it Infinity. Okay, so it's saved. All right, so I have a um, couple of chops here for the melody and right now I'm going to go and look for a drum loop. So I'm going to look for a drum loop in another one, in another, another sample pack, which was released uh, much earlier last year. So I'm going to switch up to import mode. And um, I think I'm going to go to the kit factory. And I'm going to um, select the drum loop from Spartacus. Okay, that is the one. So here I already had a two bar loop, 
um, basically with just uh, the melody. So I'm just going to add this drum loop as well. The drum loop is four bars. So let me adjust the length of this pattern right here. Okay, let's hear it. All right, so this uh, I'm going to make it the chorus, so I'm just going to make it eight bars. I'm going to come back to this uh, later on to do the bass line and add um, some flavor to this. But uh, basically, I want it to be really uh, some type of microwave beat, so I'm not going to uh, spend too much time on this sequence right here. So I'm just copying the sequence here to the next sequence. And uh, from here, I'm going to clear the initial loop and I'm going to build a new one uh, bas basically uh, using my chops here. So I'm going to switch back to just one bar and I'm going to work on um, some type of melody. It's a good start. All right, so I'm going to do this for another four bars. So let me switch up to another sequence. So for this sequence, I'm going to uh, add some variation.
All right, so here goes my second, my second uh, kind of verse section. So um, I'm going to try and try and do a third one. Let's see what we can come up with. Matter of fact, I'm not really going to uh, change this one. I'm just going to try and uh, maybe add some additional instruments before. Save this. So here I'm just going to uh, use this app, which is called uh, Sociator, and um, I'm just going to record some some notes here from here. I forgot how to use it actually. I think the sample was uh, was a G was a G major, and I I pitched it three semitones. One, two, three. I'm just going to re reduce the delay here. And um, I'm going to try and EQ the high frequencies. So it gives you an idea, so uh, I'm going to uh, record this in and then resample that in Koala. So I don't have a fancy setup like uh, a lot of people have. So let me record something in Audacity on my computer. I think that's enough 
So um, I'm just going to do some processing on the sample and load it in Koala. So first I want to make sure it's um, it's mono. Okay. And then I'm going to export this sample. Let's grab these ones. Doesn't really fit.
Okay, now I'm going to uh, be looking for some type of baseline. I don't know if we have something. Let me check. Start with the kit factory. So I have this uh, loop from Rembrandt from Frenchtown Media. So I'm going to try and see if I can use this somehow. So right here, I'm just making sure it is a mono signal.
Right, guys um i think i'm signing off on this one i'm just going to uh conclude in uh, letting you know that these sample packs that we've just heard are all available on beatstars uh, beatstars.com so if you want to grab any of these we have a melodic pack we have construction kits we have a scratch pack and we are currently working on another melodic pack which is going to be uh, really dope with uh, probably around 100 loops so be on the lookout for that peace